All right, me and Rai Rai are here. We're gonna we're gonna wash the car. So uh, wash the GT3. Uh, so I figured I'd, I'd set up the camera. I'm not gonna do anything special, or I wasn't gonna do anything special in this video. Um, uh, so I'm not gonna share the wheel cleaning process with you, uh, but I'm gonna use some new products. And so I'm gonna test out Optimum's car wash, their soap. I'm gonna test out uh, as a drying aid using Optimum car wax. Of course, you know, if you haven't seen the GT3 correction video, uh, I have uh, power locked uh, with two coats of colonite on the car. And so we're gonna put Optimum car wax as our drying aid. I'm gonna mess with um, Opti Glass Clean and Protect. We'll see how it, how it works with the Wolfs. Uh, I did get some, some of their glass coating, uh, which I'll probably use next time. Uh, I don't know what I did with it. Oh, here it is. Use the, this the glass coating. So when the Wolfs wears off, we'll use that. Um, so the other thing I'd like to test, I'll test Opti Seal later, um, but I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna use the, the car wax as my drying aid. And then, uh, and then we'll put this on the glass, and then we'll put the uh, Opti Bond the, on the tires. So we're just going to play with these four products. And so I'm going to let me do the wheels, and we'll come back to you. All right, before we get moving, I want to make a couple of comments. One, this brush is awesome. I thought I'd have to clean it all the time. This is the Incredi brush. I thought I'd have to clean it all the time. In fact, while we're here, I'm going to cut this thing off of here. I'm sure there's a reason for this thing but all it does is get in the way for me. I think it's supposed to protect this plastic piece, but I never really get that close to hitting it off anything anyway, so I don't see why we need to keep it. But this brush, the, and again, I don't think there's any reason to get the rounded version. The flat is all you really need. Um, I wish this was a little bit stiffer, but it's still good, you know. Um, and then you can remove this, you can pull this off and change out the cover and just wash it with your microfiber towels. So that's one thing that's great. Second, here is um, the original Griots, which they stopped making. Uh, one of the things with the Griots is that the lambskin was a little bit stiffer than these flexi pads that I'm using. So even when they're dry, they don't have to be uh, kind of warmed up or wet. So that's, that's huge. So these are great. So this one's going to the trash. They don't make these griots anymore. So those are two, two key, key things that I just noticed when I was, when I was doing the, uh, the wheels. Um, do you guys get the same sense of, I get this massive sense of accomplishment when I empty a bottle. I shouldn't because it means more money. Um, but I feel like, I feel like I just completed something. Uh, by by f using using the whole bottle, I do the same thing when I watch a movie. Like I, I um, you know, I'll, I'll have um, a movie and, and a pile of movies, and as I watch them all, it's like I feel like I accomplished something, even though I accomplished absolutely nothing. All right, so let's get the car wash. And if you haven't caught it, um, I started using the microfiber madness in Creta Mitt, and I just take the mitt part fold it inside because I don't like mitts. I like to be able to flip from one side of the pad to the next. I don't want to have to pull my hand in and out. I just like that. I like doing that better. And maybe it's because of the, the dirt of the amount of my cars. I don't feel the sense the need to rub it on anything. I just, you know, just dunk it in there, kind of rinse it off and put it in the other soap bucket. Uh, so let's put a little bit of soap. So again, I'm going to test out this Optimum and they say to use a half an ounce. So, is it a half an ounce per, per four gallons? And so, I'll probably want to do a full ounce because I'll be doing five and a half. And then I like a little extra soap. So, let's do that. And then let's fill up our foam cannon. You know, it's going to take a little bit of experimenting, so I'm not going to make a final assessment here uh, until I've been able to sort of play with the dilutions in the foam cannon. So I won't, I won't make a decision on this until this atom doesn't fit on there perfectly. Until I've had some time to work with it. Safe. 
Oh, this is obviously, this is considerably thinner than Adam's. So I put in, so that's 250 mils. So one, two, three, four, there's 50. I put like a hundred milliliters in here. So we'll see how that, how that dilution works out. So let's go fill this up and let's foam the car. You know, I'm thinking about this, despite the fact that I'm going to take some heat when I decide to do all the individual product videos for all the detailing supplies that I'm going to offer in the store, I am thinking it's going to be great. I think it's going to be fun. Just making short, you know, five minute videos or, or something like that for each individual product to put in the store so that there's the support behind each one of them, how to use them and why and all that stuff. There's a little, probably a little more than I need because the GT3 is not particularly huge. It certainly smells good. You know, I don't feel any like um, slickness like I do with Adams, so it feels a little different. It smells different too. It smells good. All right, let's. I'll rinse the car off and then we'll foam it. So, I mean, you could certainly wash the car with the short gun. I would think like if you were in your garage or something washing, like some people do, that having the short gun would be better. I'd like the wand. Gosh, it's so much better. Life is so much better when your car is dialed in. I feel so much better about it. Now, the car isn't particularly dirty, but I drove down to Adam's house and there's bug crazy all over it. So I don't like to mess with the bugs unless I'm gonna do a full wash. And because I'm gonna be doing lots of GD3, I, I need to, or G, the GD350 has a bunch of uh, stuff I need to put on it, modifications. So um, like a little, little thing like that, I need to do pedals and things like that. So I'm gonna go park this over at the garage, at the garage facility. And so since I'm going to be doing that, I wanted the car clean. So I'll take that over in the morning, swap out for the GT350. I'll bring that over. I want to get that all dialed in for the trip to the mountains. What am I doing? So I'd mentioned in the last S2000 video, or a couple of S2000 videos, depending on when I release this one. Oops. But you want to make sure you get the soap off the bottom. You don't really need to shake it up, but you want to get it so that the soap, at least, you're not sucking all the, the you know, the soap that's sitting on the bottom. You want to get it mixed up. Well, it certainly foams well. That's good. Wow. Yeah, it's really good. Ivan, Dr. G, Dan, and every OptiCoat 
uh, optimum uh, convert is rolling over in the grave right now. That I'm foaming the car, I'm talking about how good it is. <laughs> That's great. I used a lot less Adam soap and I'm getting some pretty hefty stuff. Look at that. I mean, we've got. It's not as. Um, you can tell it's not as. It's like. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but it feels. Uh, it looks a little different. Like the consistency of it is different. Anyway, let's wash this sucker. But in, you know, in talking to Dr. G about the, uh, you know, if you're not familiar, Dr. G is the, you know, the chemist, the owner of Optimum Polymer Technologies. The guys that make OptiCoat. I'm just gonna get a little bit of the water out of here. Drains. I don't know. I. I it's on the list, but it's not a high priority because it's not a big deal for me to just do that, just to wipe it off. So with me, you know, an important distinction here, you know, I'm, you know, so I, first off, I don't, I don't rinse the foam off the car. You know, I want, I want the, the, the sort of the purpose to me, so I let that sit for, I don't know, four or five minutes, let it, let it do what it's supposed to do, let it emulsify the dirt, you know, loosen up the bugs, and then I go right to washing. You know, rather than washing the foam off, and then I guess, I guess you could put more foam on the car, but generally what I do is I'll foam it, let it sit for five minutes or so, and then start washing from top to bottom. And the reason I do that is the soap is pH balanced. So I didn't use and don't generally use deionized water to wash the car. It's just, it's not really, I don't think it's really necessary and it's not particularly economical, especially when you have the pH balanced soap on the car. And so this soap is pH balanced, much like Adams or most you know, quality soaps. You don't want any, you don't want it acidic. You just want it to neutralize the hardness of the water. So, you know, if I were out in the sun or if I was taking my time or like, like for instance, when I wash the Tahoe, it takes a long time to do. So by the time I get all the way back around, you know, the, the soap is starting to dry or the water is starting to dry. And so I would much rather have the soap dry on the car because then you could just rinse that off rather than any kind of hard water that could get on the surface and cause, you know, water spotting. Now, in my experience, you know, water spotting is a much bigger issue than on a coated car than a waxed car or a sealed car, or whatever you want to call this stuff. So, again, notice this is my general technique. I take the sponge, or the, the reversed mitt in, in this case, you know, it has dirt on it, I put it in, and I kind of do this, just to get the dirt to fall out. I know many will put it on the bottom of the grit guard. I don't find that necessary. Now, granted, I'm in Florida, and the, you know, the amount of dirt isn't that big of a deal, most of what we're dealing with is sand and sediment. And so just doing, doing this is going to, the sand is gonna drop out of the pad. So that's generally, you know, the extent of what I'm, you know, what I'm gonna do as I'm agitating the pad. And so that's why I haven't felt the need. You know, I, I bought some, some of the grit guard, the washboard, but I just didn't, I didn't use them. They just sat in the bucket and got in the way. And so I didn't find the need to keep them. Okay. 
yeah, I mean, this soap is pretty darn good. It seems like it's sitting on the paint a little differently than Adam's. Like, it's not sitting there as, as long. Gosh, I, I still struggle with the difference of whether blue should be rinse and wash or wash should be blue or I don't know. Kind of stuck with it now, kind of committed to it. I should make them in both, <laughs> both versions. All right, let's rinse it off with some deionized water. Let's have a quick chat. All right, so my initial thought is this. Um, car, it foams really well. Seems like it'll foam more predictably than atoms. You know, sometimes I get a great foam. If I don't mix the atoms up properly or get the right, you know, solution, you know, the atoms, you know, will, you know, will get a little soupy. Uh, this, because it's a much thinner soap, tends to be, seems like it's more soluble. It's not as concentrated. Uh, so choosing the right dilution seems like that would be easier in the foam cannon. So the foam cannon or foaming is, is great. Um, the, now the, you know, it doesn't seem to hold its suds as long as, as Adams does. So the, the, um, you know, the car, as it foams, it starts running off and then it seemed like, you know, the soap seemed to dissipate much more quickly. I don't know if that's a bad thing, um, because I'm usually around the car pretty quickly, but if you're doing a bigger car, I think Adams holding its foam, uh, uh, I feel like, and you know, this may be just made up, but I feel like the lubrication holds, holds on longer. Now, I, I can see it. You know, very clearly, there's less residue on the paint, less soap residue uh, than, than the atoms. And so the drying aid, I think, is going to bond better. I think the car is going to blow off a little bit more easily uh, with this soap. Uh, so uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to make a, an, an, an actual assessment or a, a complete judgment uh, until or make a decision on whether I'm going to transition to something like this until I've used it for a while, go back to Adams, you know, flip back and forth. So you'll see me using it in the videos for a while. I'll buy a gallon. It's certainly good enough to buy a gallon to test and continue to play with to see if I like, you know, some of the aspects of it better than than the Adam soap. Uh, so I'm gonna blow off the car with the leaf blower and then uh, we'll use the car wax as a drying aid. We'll see how that goes. There is no question there's less soap residue left over. All right, so Optimum Car Wax. Now I know this stuff, we have to treat it differently than we treat like Meguiar's D156 or Griot's because um, it'll dry much quicker. So like, like D156, I would spray the whole front clip here. I'm gonna do one small section at a time. So, you know, the reason why I'm interested in this is this has some UV protection, some UV capabilities, whereas our others don't, like D156 doesn't have that. So this is like a true wax. We're adding a layer of protection to the car. So I'm excited to see how this does for me. See if this is something I can accept or not. Because I can already tell it's going to be a little bit more work to deal with this. And you're also going to use want to use a lot less product than you would with Meguiar's. Ooh, it 
feels nice. So the question is, is that, so it, it clearly, to me, just in this quick little area of the car, doesn't go on as smoothly and nicely as Amos Hydrate does. But, left a little wax in there. But if I get like a true layer of wax on the car, this could be a nice additive to use on a regular basis. Wow, I think it looks great. Get another towel. So I think I'm gonna need to use more towels than I do with hydrate. So this is really one of those times where you really wanna check your towel. Make sure there's nothing in it because my car is pretty dialed in. It's probably a little more than I need. Get over there, do that side. Nice, I really feel like I'm getting an extra layer of true protection on here. Look at how good that paint looks. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed this, but I never do like 50, I never do like shots of, you know, the sky and the paint and all that stuff. I mean, you can kind of, take a, you know, any new car that isn't completely jacked up and do the same thing, that even if the paint is scratched up. So I don't buy into the whole, let me take a shot of the car and show you how great of a, you know, shine I have because, you know, it's, it's kind of a, uh, You can kind of make anything look good in the picture. It might look good, but a picture doesn't really, I think, show the real, the real thing, the real deal. So I never do that. I just don't find it useful. I don't think it's a bad thing, but it's just not my style. Added bonus, this stuff smells incredibly good. It smells like coconuts. I don't like this sprayer for it though. This is your Tolco sprayer now. Granted, this isn't the sprayer that came with the bottle. I threw out the cheapo ones. So maybe it's better to stick with the one that comes with it, but. You definitely want to be careful with drying time on this stuff. You need to get it dried relatively quickly. So I got the bubble all torn apart back there. The darn fan was working all the time, or the pump, the air pump. And so I, I assume that I had to move it a couple of times to um, so we could paint this, you know, this 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 building. And so I assumed we punctured punctured it. So I've been I tore it all apart. Gee whiz, this thing is already 3M film is already jacked up. Hear that? Jeez, I haven't even gone through anything. Well, we'll assess that. Well, I guess I did the mountains, never mind. Forgot about that. I need to get some uh, APC and get this wax off of here. 
wax and sealant tends to build up in that spot. Right, let me go around the other side and we'll wrap up this part. All right, so you know, just looking at the car, I'm getting a much more, I feel like I have more depth. It could be all placebo, but um, everything smells great around the car now. This smells, certainly smells better than, than uh, hydrate. Uh, this is a lot more difficult to deal with though. Um, I can already see, you know, if you miss a spot, you know, it's a big deal where the beauty of hydrate is you spray it on and even you let it streak over, you walk away, you come back, it's gone. So this as a drying aid, I, I, I don't know, I'm gonna have to spend some more time with it, use it for a little while uh, to make a real assessment. Uh, but I do, uh, it almost looks like I just put a new fresh coat of colonite on the car. Uh, so that, that I think is a huge advantage. It might be worth the, you know, the dealing with a little bit of extra work involved. Um, and it feels like your traditional buttery wax surface. Feels great. All right, I'm gonna go check on Kate and then we'll come back and we'll do the, the do, I'll do the door jams. I'm not gonna do that on camera. I'm gonna use uh, Kinotech, Kinotech Showroom Shine on that. I'm gonna go around the car. There's some, wax spots, you know, because uh, I only wash the car quickly after the after the detail. So, oh, oh, we'll come back and do the windows too. All right, I've been told that this glass clean and protect, I mean, it's a chemical, you always want to shake it, make sure it's mixed. But I've been told you don't want to put this on the inside because you'll get foggy windows. We'll see how this plays with with wolves. But this is designed to be put on top of Opti glass coat. Seems to work okay. Make sure that I don't get it all smeary on the paint. So I guess we'll test that. See, normally I spray it right on the windows. We'll see how that goes. So this is the Optimum Glass Clean and Protect. I think I'll probably transition to the Optimum Glass Coating, or just the consumer versions, 80 bucks a bottle, probably last forever, over the Wolf's, just because the Wolf's is so hard to get. Uh, and then we have the supporting product to continue to top it. So we'll see how this plays with the Wolf's, the Wolf's glass guard that I have on the windows. Um, but as far as application went on easily, seems like, seems like it'll work great. Didn't see any smearing or any issues with getting it on the, on the surrounding paint or the surrounding trim. So I think, you know, it's all designed to play nicely together. So we'll keep testing this and I'll keep you posted. Now, this I think will take a little longer time to test and tell, you know, how it does. But this is the Tire Bond, OptiBond Tire Gel. Shake it up a little bit. Now this is a little unfair because I have I still have some red, some um, Carpro Pearl on the tires. It certainly, uh, I put it on the S2000 tires the other day. It certainly spreads more evenly than Pearl. All right, so the application of it like pearl tends to get a little smeary, but then you just kind of wipe it off you know, with your with your follow towel. 
this doesn't have the same, you know, I notice it specifically on these, on these sport cups. And so this stuff tends to, tends to make it where you, or get where you want it to get to a little bit easier. But we'll see about, you know, how it lasts and how it looks. The other thing I noticed briefly was that it seems to give me a little bit more of a matte or satin finish, a little less shine, which, you know, I tend to like. So anyway, we'll continue to test these products. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot more testing. Uh, I'm working on getting my life uh, and cars set up to where I'm you know, maybe doing one thing at a time. I had like 27 projects all at once uh, to do. And so, you know, the Raptor keeps getting thrown, thrown to the back burner. And so, the, you know, the Raptor will get done. Everything will get, will get done. Uh, and then I'll just work on, you know, working on an individual product testing at a time, getting our, you know, getting our packages all lined up as well. So anyway, thanks for watching this video. And uh, uh, all this seems right in the world that my GT3 is contaminant, scratch, and uh, like scratch free and shiny. Uh, so we'll continue to play with OptiSeal and the, uh, the Optimum, um, uh, the spray wax, the car wax, and we'll see how it, how it plays with the, uh, with the, with the colonite that's on the car. Anyway, thanks for watching. So what happens when the, when the force pulls you back, your foot naturally comes off the gas. You have to keep your foot to the floor. The floor. The floor.